Well, hello, my friends. Welcome back. I hope you guys had a good week. Today, we are going to take this Icon FJ44 out for a brief test drive, and I'll tell you about uh, all the details. So, we started out with a 1973 Beat to Hell FJ40. That was the foundation for this build. This truck's built in the new school style, and it is Icon FJ number 177. Yeah, buddy. We, this one's like pretty straightforward new school design package. It's a little extra stealth uh, in some of the decisions that uh, the client and I made together. I'll walk you through those. But, New School, basically, when I started the brand, our engineering approach was so different from what was being done that I felt I needed to design, like, a little, I needed to honor the original FJ design, but tweak it and differentiate it so that people would stop and have the attention span to hear the story and understand why our mechanical experience is so different. Um, was truly novel at the time. No one was really in this weird resto mod or whatever the heck we're supposed to call it in space. So that's why I did New School. It's like a little more technical, industrial, manly, uh, but not, hopefully you think, uh, I think, not over the top. This one's finished in the Rocky Mountain Gray, which was in fact the finish used on the very first icon we ever built. Uh, we have the black seven layer insulated hand tailored soft top. We did a custom roof rack on this one. It's based on the design we routinely do, but we altered it a bit because we did not do the additional top rails and we did an extruded floor on it as well. It's got the ladder, it's fully removable. It, by the way, anchors directly to the actual roll cage and then sandwiches the top so if you want to take your soft top off you can reattach the rack and that's actually kind of nice that way I like it like that or I think my favorite way is I like to take the four door uppers off roll and scroll the back three windows or use the second zipper at the top take them off leave it at home and then you kind of have a nice tailored bikini top over you so you're in the shade at least old Irish dudes like me need the shade uh, but anyway, other details on the outside, of course, the Icon 6061 machined billet rear view mirrors, which I'm sure you're familiar with by now. Those are super stout. I guarantee you they're the highest quality, best made rear view mirrors for FJs ever. I've tried them all and that's why I ended up making these because I couldn't find anything that really felt right. So we make those, by the way, with alternate mounts to fit all generation FJ40s and 45s, as well as a mount that fits FJ60 and 62s, BJs and HJs as well, my Canadian and international friends, don't you worry now. We also have the Icon front bumper with the integrated aux LED lights. This client did not want a wench, so there is no wench up there. The normally dual pivot rear bumper has been changed at the client's request. Since we did the two piece rear tailgate instead of our one piece drop down, it makes it easier, more convenient to get inside if you don't need that jerry can carrier. So this way you unzip, disconnect the snaps for the rear window. When you open that door, we added a amp research step there, comes down. Pony up, get inside, seal everything up, party on. We also did our four lit um, amp research steps on the principal four doors. And uh, the aux LED is also in the rear on this one. And that comes on automatically when you put it in reverse, or there's a toggle under dash where you can light it up when you see fit. Inside, we did this lovely custom leather interior using Italian hides sourced from our friends at Moore and Giles. Very nice touch in hand, minimal grain texture, which is what the client wanted. And it should prove to be highly durable 
Um, I really like the look and feel and smell of it. It's nice. We also felt Chilowich didn't make any sense with all this black and gray going on. So we did black Har Garden square weave for the rubber back Dynamat lined leather bound floor mats. And those are all removable. And then the powder coated aluminum body is then polyurea coated. And then if you take those mats out, there's little silicone drain plugs. So you can just pop those and hose out the floor if you took it out in the mud and got all dirty. This truck, in fact, I think is gonna be seeing a fair amount of mud because it's moving to the Carolinas. And uh, I hope he really gets to get out there and play with it. Um, the gentleman who ordered this is uh, quite famous um, for driving very quickly, uh, turning left, let's say. Respect for his privacy, I won't call him out by name, but a lovely gentleman to work with. His neighbor had an icon and then ordered another icon and then finally came over and asked his neighbor, all right, what's up with this? What are these crazy things? And he uh, fell in love with the brand, fortunately, reached out and we're proud to have built him this rig. We did the carbon fiber heat blankets, two stage in the front for bucket seats. The third row on this truck is the fold up side facing jump seats. There are three point belts for the appropriate use, the forward facing buckets and then lap belts for the jump seats. We did the optional cargo mat pockets on the doors which are CNC aluminum and then very high quality sports equipment, netting and tethers and locks on them, provided by our friends at Nike. Sun visors, you got my Learjet visors, which we sell on the site, they're so good. There's two versions, one is specifically for FJs and then we also have the universal mount that fits nearly any vehicle. You just leave your original mount and shaft and then cut the bugger off and sleeve on the coupler and put the Rosen visor on there. I've put them on all my cars that I could fit them on. They work out so well. What else we got? So I think that covers the interior and the layout. Audio, this is the elevated audio, our best system. So amplified and with bass, it's the AVIC Pioneer head unit, which has the tetherless CarPlay. Bluetooth navigation, HD, FM, AM, CD, yada, 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 yada. We set this one up also with the reverse camera and the Focal speakers with separates all the way around. The base is hiding underneath my seat in a spot that otherwise would have been useless. But then underneath the other three seats, we made cool little cubby spaces that'll fit a good size backpack so you can uh, haul even more gear with you. I think that comes in handy, especially when you order the two-piece tailgate instead of the one-piece drop-down, because the one-piece has an internal locking storage compartment, the two-piece does not. But again, it's better for ingress, egress use in the rear. So pick your battles, my friend, pick your battles. Mechanically, we are running the LS3 6.2 aluminum fuel injected General Motors V8. We run our own Fiat that's comprised of uh, mostly Chevy truck application components other than the remote reservoir for the power steering pump, which we add because it controls, uh, it just, it's healthier for the power steering pump because we give it added responsibility because it now is integrated into the assist system for the Icon Sport brakes made by our buddies for us at Brembo. Sport brakes on this vehicle, special ordered, all black gloss, not the usual Icon red. The exhaust is fully stainless steel, TIG welded, and again, unique on this truck. Well, not unique, but a popular option actually. We um, did the ceramic coating, so it's all jet black. Transmission is the 4L65E General Motors four-speed automatic with overdrive, which in turn is sending power through to the Atlas twin stick, two-speed, part-time, shift on the fly transfer case. 
The axle assembly is done by our good friends at Curry Industries. Brand new from scratch, every nut and bolt, the entire housing. Powder coat primed and then powder coated black. They are high pinion units, 44 high pinion in the front with fine spline axles. Dana 60 high pinion in the rear. Those have the optional ARB locking differentials, front and rear with a dedicated air compressor. And again, they of course have our beloved sport brakes rolling on them as well. Suspension is coilover. I don't like the leaf springs. All icons are coilover, specifically 12 inch shaft, two and a half inch body, Fox Racing shocks, Eibach coils. This is the sport suspension, so it is tunable. There's two rates of tune that adjust the valving and they are nitrogen charged. You have tunable sway bars in the front and rear. Alright, I think it's time for me to wrap it up. It's a wrap. I thank you as always for your interest, your support, the brand. If you liked the video, please like the video. If you don't subscribe, please subscribe. Share with your friends, spread the word. We don't do any advertising and our community is a big part of keeping us in business and uh, telling the friends they think would dig it. So please do that if you are so inclined. You can reach us Old School Telephone 818-280-3333 or Old School website icon4x4.com. All the social media stuff. I think the Instagram one's the most fun. Can be found at icon4x4. Once you start typing in icon, you'll see the lizard. You'll know it's us. All right, we'll catch you guys next week. Be kind to yourselves. Be kind to your friends. Be kind to people that you don't even know. Be good to our planet. Take care. Thank you.